Hello, people of the tube. That's it, that's what I'm going to start doing now. People of the tube. Uh, welcome to the truck stop. The lovely truck stop. So this is in the sort of northwest area. It's sort of northwest. It's in northwest in comparison to the rest. Which did rhyme, I am now a rapper. Uh, so, we're going to be taking a look at this place. Luckily there isn't an enclave here. This is already one of my favourite areas. So, you only need five people. It's sort of like a second, second or third base location that you could maybe sort out. Um, it's, it's an alright spot. I really, really like it. It's fantastic for role-playing, which we will talk about once I've... There we go. So, oh my god, you get a lot more space than I was expecting. You get, like, this whole area, which is awesome. Uh, and that's why I like this spot. Now, not all of this is... You know, not all of the space is well used, per se, by the looks of things. Let's take a little look. To convert this so this is our, uh, our machine shop that we get. You can see... Um, Auto shop, that's it. So we get one set of outdoor beds, which we saw as we came in. You get a restaurant kitchen, which I'm assuming is in the other building. Huge fuel storage. A seating area, which is clearable, and a seating area, which is clearable. Four parking spots. One auto shop. And just one large slot. So the downside to this place is oh, you're only I'm getting three slots. Um, four if you can clear the outdoor beds, which I don't quite know if you can. Um... I, I would assume that you can. I'm hoping that you can. Otherwise, I've let myself down with this place. But it's basically a diner. It's a diner with a garage next door. And I'm going to get murked by some zombies. Uh, let's go ahead and take a little look. Hello. QA. So these are the seating areas by the looks of it that you can clear out and, you know, maybe get a large indoor. Or two small indoors, by the looks of things. I don't really know. Uh, here's your restaurant kitchen and your huge fuel storage, by the looks of things. Um, which is pretty good. It's nice that you get that. Um, I like this place more for the roleplay purposes, rather than... Oh, there's the fuel storage. Um, rather than the actual, uh, like, usage of it, I guess. There's a horde outside. Brilliant. What's by Oh, there's your command center. Oh, maybe this is your auto shop then. I don't quite know now. Um, but this place is just really, really cool for if you're wanting to role play a group of survivors that are into crafting things. It's great. And it's also in one of the best spots in the map. I said that uh, last time about that place. Um, this is equally as good, almost as good. It's... Get it's getting there. This and the uh, strip mall are really, really great locations uh, for bases to be in on this map. Uh, this is, you know, my second, third favorite. It's great. Um, I don't believe it comes with a proper watchtower. You've got like some roleplay style stuff. Oh god! But nothing that'll actually like. I don't. I don't think watchtowers actually do anything other than you giving like a little bit more shooting range. But. I don't quite know if that acts as it. I don't believe it does. Um, but you've got these like going all the way around. It's like a nice little aesthetic, I suppose. Um, you can stand up here and shoot at hordes. Uh, but yeah, the location of this really, really boosts it up. Again, if you're like me and you've got an enclave nearby, you've got your own little settlement set up. Um, you can put outposts at each entrance of the town, which is nice. Um, and yeah, you really want to be, at least in my opinion, focusing on like traders that create um, not you know high high quality stuff per se like you can get um you can get like the high value trading stuff and specialize in all that but I would I would more focus on maybe collecting stuff like fuel and materials and trading those um, if you were going for like a role play kind of thing uh, it's just a really cool spot it's really really cool. I like it. It's alright. It's quite small in terms of what you can build here, um, but I definitely think it's better than the restaurant and the default house. Um, I'm not covering the houses. <laughs> I apologise. Um, but yeah, it's got a couple of entrances. Four parking spots is insane for a base this cheap. Um, I believe four is the maximum you can have. 
So the fact that a base that only costs a thousand and then five people, you know, that has four four parking spots is pretty good. Um, but yeah, there's not really too much else to say about this place. It's just a really really cool little spot. It's one of the better maps, uh, better bases on the map. And yeah, I would recommend it. Obviously not if you've got a uh, play cart right outside. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.